How long are you, are you recording? Long okay, long? we're great. Um, good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Terry Wisdom, and I'm your host for today. And this is Harlem Network News. And uh, Harlem Network News, uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, is a new media platform uh, based here in Harlem. And Harlem Network News was really created to assure that Harlem and the Harlems of the world, which I know is one of the phrases that our guest is gonna speak about, but um, so that everyone is informed. Um, it's very interesting because this uh, Harlem Network News is something that we have been thinking about for a long time, but once uh, COVID came and the pandemic, it became critical that we just spring into action like everyone else had to uh, during this time to ensure that our communities and communities of color and urban communities were informed because major media doesn't often uh, cover our stories and we really need to tell our own stories. Uh, today, I have a very uh, special guest here uh, with me, uh, Mr. Brother Marco Nobles. And um, he is going to talk to us uh, about Harlem Week and the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce and all the wonderful things that are gonna start uh, tomorrow. So Marco, if you would just share with us, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, let us know what's going on and of course, first introduce yourself and then just tell us all about the wonderful things that are gonna happen with Harlem Week, which is going to be virtual for the very first time. So we live in a virtual world now, so yes. Well, Terry, thank you very much for, for having me. Thank you for, very much for, for this platform of Harlem Network News. Uh, yes, again, I am Marco Noble, second vice chairman of Harlem Week. And uh, Harlem Week is, as you mentioned, going virtual for the first time in its 46 year history. 46 uh, years, all right. Many people know Harlem Week and are used to, and are used to coming to visit our events. Uh, they come from around the world to Harlem to experience uh, the Harlem Week events, whether it's our Great Day in Harlem event or whether it's to see the vendors and exhibitors or a youth conference or a Senior Citizens Day or our film festivals, or all the entertainment, uh, business conferences. But um, yeah, this year, because of COVID-19, we are virtual, so uh, people don't have to travel from different parts of the country and different parts of the world to come to Harlem. Harlem comes to them uh, online on harlemweek.com. And today actually is the very first day of Harlem Week. As, as we speak right now, The you know, our event, A Great Day in Harlem is going on. Okay, okay. We can participate in, in the film festival, which is our Harlem Week Image Nation virtual film festival. Mm -hmm. So have our, you know, virtual vendor village that is going on all as we speak. Uh, okay, okay. We also have a Taste of Harlem featuring Harlem's many fine restaurants. Uh, every day you get to see a different restaurant being featured. Uh, and there are so many events going on. Tomorrow we have our youth conference and hackathon uh, taking place. We have young people who uh, in, will be in a conference to talk about the issues of COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter and, and how uh, technology has informed them and how they use technology to share information in, in these you know, important times. Uh, we have a, our hackathon, we have a, about 55 young people who are gathering together to uh, look at how to create uh, solutions to problems using technology. Okay, so, yeah, excellent. Be able to watch that live on our platform on harlemweek.com from two to four uh, tomorrow, okay. Monday afternoon. Um, so, you know, we, we will have, you know, lots of activity for, for okay. people. That's just, that's just, you know, today and tomorrow. Okay, uh, okay, well, that sounds fantastic. I'm gonna interrupt you just for a little bit because I wanna make sure that um, we know in this virtual world, um, all of us are pretty far ahead. I think we've all almost, gotten our doctorate and how to get on and do everything. But I just want to make sure you said people go to harlemweek.com to yes. um, get on and be a part of it. 
Now, is there a limit or is it too late or can they get on now? Is there something special they have to do? Because I want to make sure one of the reasons that, and I guess I didn't even realize that there was, I saw as I was driving through Harlem, I saw a screen up in St. Nicholas Park and I was like, okay, you know, preparation, but we have to assume everybody doesn't know everything. And that's why I am so grateful that um, you came on uh, just at a moment's notice because sometimes that's what we have to do. But I did not want Harlem Week to go virtual without Harlem Network News in its debut to not be a part, not share, not let as many people uh, get the information. So is it too late or can they still join? Um, where can they find a list of things that they can fit into? How does it work? Uh, everything, uh, all the answers to those questions are, are answered by going to harlemweek.com. Okay. Uh, Week.com is the website. It is where uh, the central hub of everything happening. You can watch all the events. You can participate in the different activities. You can be a part of our virtual 5K run, if you wish. Oh, okay. All the performances that are a part of the Harlem Music Festival, uh, Harlem Week, and you can be able to see whether it's appearances or performances by folks like Stevie Wonder, Dougie oh. Fresh, um, Stephanie Mills, uh, wow. Chuck Wilson, uh, KC of uh, KC and JoJo, KC from Jodeci, depending on how you look at it. Uh, you have Melba Moore. We have performances from the Broadway play Girl from the North Country. Oh. Uh, part of the Harlem Music Festival. We have multiple concerts that are presented by Jazzmobile. We have a special concert from uh, Jazz at Lincoln Center and Wynton Marsalis, a Wynton Marsalis composition called Abyssinian Mass. Uh, all of that is wow. the Harlem Music Festival and all of that is available uh, to be seen on harlemweek.com. And that's all people have to do, whether you are on your phone, on your tablet, on a laptop, on a desktop computer, just go to harlemweek.com and you can get all the information, the full schedule of events. Uh, you can sign up to win prizes and get wow. regular updates on what's coming up uh, for the next day. So okay. all you need to do is go. And how long is Harlem Week? Because I know in the, in the past, like when we started out 46 years ago, and it just doesn't seem like it was that time, um, you know, it might've been a day or two days and it got to be a week. And even though we call it Harlem week, it's been like Harlem month. So is it an actual week this time or is this things gonna be going on like throughout the month of August, if you would just let us know. Thank sure, you. It, it is, it, your official dates are uh, today the 16th through the 23rd. However, if you miss any event on any day, you can still come back to harlemweek.com and see the events that you may have missed. And you'll still be able to see the events uh, throughout on harlemweek.com throughout uh, the rest of the month. But the official dates of Harlem Week this year are a week. So we are- Okay, okay. One week event. Uh, but those events, uh, because we are, you know, virtual, will live online on our site, uh, as well as on our multiple YouTube pages, Facebook pages. Right. Okay. okay. We'll live, uh, you know, throughout the rest of the month and, and for uh, the coming months as well. Okay. So, I mean, I think it's incredible. It has been really rough with COVID and the pandemic and all of that, and particularly there being such a loss in our community. But, and then the fact that we're very um, communal people, we're used to being together, we're used to hugging and touching and all those things. But I, yeah. think, I think that we really um, are adoptable. We know that we are resilient people. Um, so we're adopting ourselves. And in some ways, um, the fact that it's virtual, there are some assets to that. Like people can see it all over, they can revisit it. You know, sometimes it was hard to be in one place and then another place, but you know, we're able to really take it all in. So um, I think that um, that is amazing. Um, would you just share just a little bit, we're gonna roll back um, 
can you just let us know how did Harlem Week begin? Why was it created? Who created it? Who are some of the um, pillars and cornerstones of uh, Harlem Week? And if you could just share that, because I'm going to assume we're going worldwide. And now that it's virtual, we want everybody to know about Harlem. Harlem is the black mecca of the world. OK, mm -hmm. so goes Harlem, so goes the world. So if you could just share how it began and who some of the uh, main stakeholders are in Harlem Week and how it evolved from all this time. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Harlem Week started uh, in 1974 as a one day event. Um, there were a number of concerned Harlemites that included uh, Lloyd Williams and Tony Rogers and Bozo Rivers and, and a number of others who started, uh, who you know, were looking at uh, the concerns of where we were. I mean, Harlem and New York City overall wasn't looked at in the most favorable light. Um, you know, Harlem in particular at that time was, was many people thought of it as, as a ghetto. It didn't, you know, people who had lived in Harlem for many years and started to, you know, move out, move away to the suburbs, mm -hmm. you know, was you know in, in Harlem and throughout New York City, uh, there was you know lots of crime, lots of you know uh, unsavory things going on. Um, but you know under the the uh, urging of Percy Sutton, who uh, late Percy Sutton, who at the time yes, was yes. president, um, he you know gathered uh, a number of these uh, these persons together who were uh, part of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce as. Harlem Day and then Harlem Week has, has always been a project, a program of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. And they created this one day event to really celebrate you know, the, the real beauty of Harlem, the magic of Harlem, and to really bring pride to those still living in Harlem with the thought that those people, those Harlemites uh, that were able to be touched with this one day event would then go out and be the ambassadors to remind people of the greatness of Harlem. So that one day event uh, turned into, you know, a day the next year, and then turned into two days the following year, and then three days, and then five days, and then a week, and then two weeks, and then eventually we got to be a month for it seems like for the last 15, 20 years, we've been, we've always said only in Harlem can you have a, a week that's a month. That's a month, yes. Yeah. But, um, you know, and of course, now we're back to a week. And certainly we, we uh, anticipate that next year uh, we'll be back to live activities, um, but we'll still have some virtual events as well. This won't be the last time we are virtual. Right. Yes. But we hope that it's the last time that we, we are on, that we are only virtual. Yes, yes, especially under our conditions and our circumstances. Yes. Um, just uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, I just want everyone to know that um, I'm Terry Wisdom, and this is Harlem Network News, and we're a new media platform. You can find us on uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, on our website where we do different articles and we're definitely going to do an article on uh, Harlem Week uh, just so that we can put it in writing and stamp the pavement. But, um, Mar and I'm here with Marco Nobles who is at the vice chair of Second Harlem Week. Week. Yes, yes, yes. And so a um, couple of things. You mentioned um, the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. What yeah. is the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. The Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce is a service organization um, that has that was started in 1896. Whoa. It is uh, one of the longest continuously serving service organizations for business uh, in the city. Um, wow. It is you know, dedicated to uh, the quality of life in the Greater Harlem area uh, and it's from not just a business perspective, but really a quality of life perspective for the community. Uh, business is the basis of it, but uh, there are you know different things even even now in terms of what the chamber has been doing during this pandemic uh, with our uh, with, you know, programs of uh, doing food feeds and meals for for those who are in need, whether they are seniors or families, uh, individuals who 
lost jobs because of the pandemic. Uh, that's something that's been going on since the beginning of April. Uh, there's support for small businesses. There's support for the arts and culture community. So there's support in terms of providing technology and expanding broadband service for those in the Harlem area who, who need it. So, you know, so it really is a, a quality of life mission for the chamber because the better the quality of life, the better the business uh, that can be done in the community. So the business, the chamber is a business service organization, mm -hmm. uh, service, services small businesses, you know, individuals, mom and pop businesses, all the way up to Fortune 200, Fortune 500 co co corporations. Anybody wow. that feels that there is a need to have a connection and do business somehow within Harlem uh, is able to be a member of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. Okay, well, I certainly uh, learned something today. Um, I've been familiar with the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce and through different entrepreneurial uh, projects, you know, been members and I um, am looking for Harlem Network News. We're new on the block, though we're old Harlem, but um, we're gonna look at our membership for that. But I did not know that the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce started in, you said 1896? Yep, 1896. 1896, okay. So this is Harlem history, you know, and it's important we know from whence we came. 1896, I'm gonna Google and do some research about that because that's really, really critical. Now, who are the, are, who are the stakeholders or the directors of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce? And Obviously, the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce uh, produces um, Harlem Week, or just mm -hmm. tell me how it goes, because I, I did my research before you came on, and um, I'm looking at um, the New Heritage Theater Group and Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. So if you could explain and how all those come together and who some of those uh, you know, players and people are that make this uh, Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce a reality. Thank you. Well, the, the current president of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce is Lord Williams. Uh, first vice president is Bozer Rivers, who is uh, the director of the New Heritage uh, uh, Foundation. Uh, you also have, uh, whether it is the president of City College or um, you know, developers like Lou Katzos, and, mm -hmm former bankers and uh, different members of uh, that intersect uh, that are all members of the Greater Harlem Chamber, uh, all board members of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. Um, so it's really a, a cross section of business people, you know, black, white, women, etc. educators, you know, uh, small business persons, you know, larger business persons, entrepreneurs that all come together to make the, the chamber and continue the efforts of the Chamber of Commerce through its, you know, through its health committees, you know, technology committees, through its arts and culture committees. Um, so all of these kind of intersect and the chamber is the sponsoring entity or organization or the parent organization, I should say. Okay, I see. You know, okay. so. Okay. Harlem Week is the child of the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the chamber is the parent and Harlem Week is um, one of the children of yes. uh, the Greater Harlem Chamber. And yes. um, I, I did hear, and I, I am familiar, I don't know all of the total details, but I do know that um, when COVID happened, I remember, um, you know, hearing some very... Um, poignant conversations on the Imhotep Gary Bird show with mm -hmm. um, Lloyd, uh, Honorable uh, Lloyd Williams. And I think mm -hmm. it was one of the uh, former heads of Harlem Hospital. So it was very comprehensive. And, you know, I saw that um, the Greater Harlem Chamber was really trying to step in and coordinate and just help the community. And um, I have had our Honorable uh, assembly, assembly Member Inez Dickens on several uh, times on Harlem Network News. And she has often shared, I believe it's on Tuesdays and I don't know what the other day is, but that she's been working collectively with the Greater Harlem Chamber of Commerce um, 
at I believe it's uh, Salem Methodist Church and yeah, giving out food Church, and yeah. computers and and many 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 other things. So um, very very significant. Can you just speak a little bit? I don't want to veer off too much, but I want people to know all of the things that the chamber does. Do you want to just speak a little bit, especially during this COVID time, of how you've been able to help, what's next, um, what's new, where are we um, as a community, what is the chamber seeing? The chamber, um, as you mentioned, since April has been uh, involved in many support efforts uh, for the COVID-19 pandemic to support the community uh, in Harlem. Uh, we've engaged in the Support Harlem Now campaign, um, and that is includes the, the meal programs that you just referenced um, that is done uh, Tuesday through Saturday uh, every week at uh, Salem United Methodist Church. Okay. Uh, and that is a, a project that is uh, done with the chamber in conjunction with Salem United Methodist Church, Rethink Food NYC, uh, Assembly Member Inez Dickens, um, that are all a part of that. Uh, and, you know, originally it was thought that it was something that would happen for, you know, maybe a month or two months. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, and, and it was originally feeding 500 persons a day. Now, uh, it's up to 1,400 meals per day um, that's being given out. Um, so it is, you know, something that is ongoing. Another part of that support Harlem Now program is providing uh, laptops, tablets uh, to young people and families to help assist in terms of virtual learning uh, and providing uh, connectivity uh, and providing technology equipment to allow for technology. Uh, connectivity to the internet uh, so that uh, families can be connected and in particular young people and students can be connected uh, so they can engage in virtual learning. Yes. Also providing technology for those who may be hospitalized due to COVID-19 or other reasons but particularly COVID-19. Yes. Especially at the height of the pandemic here in New York they were cut off from their families whether it was in hospitals or nursing homes, they couldn't see visitors and anything like that. So, you know, providing, you know, those uh, pieces in terms of laptops or tablets, mm -hmm. those patients so they can at least connect with their families and, and get virtual visits. Um, so that's okay. another aspect. And so, then there's support for small businesses as well. All part of our Support Harlem Now campaign and I'll see I'll just say as I close, and then unfortunately, I'm going to have to. Okay, not a problem. I know you've got to get on yeah. to uh, the Harlem Week activities, but so if you I would just share, to um, say, go ahead. I'm sorry. If you want to support that effort, because people can support that effort, and all support is helpful, whether it's a dollar or five dollars or whatever it is that people wish to do to help support that effort uh, through our Support Harlem Now uh, GoFundMe campaign. They can go to greaterharlemchamber.com and click on the icon that says Support Harlem Now. So it's greaterharlemchamber.com and go to the icon Support Harlem Now and they can make a donation of any amount that will help the efforts. Okay, okay, well, thank you so much. Um, Marco, with everything uh, that is going on and all you're doing, and I'm sure we will speak with you again. Uh, this was Marco Nobles, and he is the vice chair of Harlem Week. Um, he does many other things, uh, promoting lots of things, coordinating lots of things. He is amazing. Um, he is one of our, we always say we have, we've had a few mayors of Harlem, but Marco is, is known, if you say Marco Nobles, Everybody knows uh, who he is and what he does. And if you have events and different things, you connect with Marco because he can help you get through. And Harlem Network News will be connecting with you. And um, it's just a great day in Harlem, as is every day. And um, we're learning a lot. Um, this has brought us together. Um, obviously, the Black Lives uh, Matter movement and, you know, our great Black Lives Mural. I mean, so many things have come out of this, but I think that uh, we've gotten stronger and we've gotten more connected. And um, 
We're just not letting anything stop us. So Marco, if you would just say a few words and take us out and um, we will definitely be inviting you again. And we would love to um, connect with, I'm not sure how to connect with him, but I'll say it on air. We would love to connect with um, our senior brother, Imhotep Gary Bird, and you know, just have him come and share um, everything Harlem. And I want to give a special uh, salute to uh, Miss Charlie Sutton, who works with um, the chamber and had worked with the Apollo and obviously is the daughter-in-law of our great Percy Sutton for making it happen. Um, you know, she's that kind of person. So I love her dearly and thank you, Sean. Okay, so just say a few words, Marco, and we're gonna let you go. So, uh, so I'll just say happy Harlem week. Uh, now through August 23rd, please visit harlemweek.com to see events. You can go to the website right now and uh, see what's going on, uh, harlemweek.com. Uh, come to the site, experience Harlem Week virtually from now through August 23rd. Thank you so much, Terry. Okay. Jim's on Harlem Network News. Uh, certainly will continue to watch to get additional information about our wonderful community of Harlem. Yes, yeah. We love Harlem. Harlem Network News, and this is Terry Wisdom, and uh, thank you so much, Marco. It's uh, been an honor and a pleasure even to see you virtually. I can feel your spirit. So Harlem Week, HarlemWeek.com, support. Thank you, and good night, and good afternoon. Thank you. All right, we're good.